Welcome to the courses training video. This video will take you through all of the details of the courses page. As you may have learned in the website overview training video, you can access this page by clicking on the courses tab located near the top of the website. The courses are listed in alphabetical order. At the top and bottom of each course listing page is a navigational tool. The inner arrows allow you to move from one page to the next one page at a time. The outer arrows will take you to the last page or the first page of the listing. With each course title there are three buttons. The first button allows you to add the course to the list on your My Courses page. This feature is explained further in instruction video titled Using the My Courses feature. You will also notice that this button is currently grayed out because you must have an account and be logged in in order to use this feature. The second button takes you to the course description page. This page gives you access to the course materials and the course exam. Once on this page, if you click on the read the coursework button, a new window will pop up with the course materials in a PDF format. Going back to the course listing page, the third button takes you directly to the exam. There are icons on the far right for each course to help identify the formats of the materials for that course and the category for that course. The icons in blue let you know the format of the course materials and the red icons identify the category of that course. Moving your mouse pointer over each icon brings up the corresponding description. There are currently three types of formats, a PDF file, an audio file, and a book course. If the course is a book course such as Boundaries, you will notice on the course description page, instead of a read the coursework button, there is a link to Amazon.com that will allow you to purchase the book. If you have either already read the book or have a copy, you do do not need to purchase one here in order to take the exam. If you wanted to show a reduced list of courses that apply to you, you can use the search program on the left, select one or multiple search criteria to narrow your search. I hope this video has helped you understand all of the features on the courses page, along with all of the subsequent pages. Good luck with your continuing education.